You always hear about Girona, a city in the north of Spain, a cycling paradise where many pro cyclists live and a buzzing cycling culture. So we had a couple of days off and no plans, so I said, okay, let's grab the bikes and go there. But I just didn't want to fly and cycle around the area for a couple of days. I wanted to have an adventure, and in doing so, why not reducing our environmental impact? So I stumbled into this amazing route called Via Rona, which goes all the way until the Mediterranean, and you could follow from Lyon. So we took a bus from Amsterdam to Lyon, and just followed the river all the way down through many different amazing French cities until Nîmes. Once we arrived to Nîmes, we switched to the Eurovelo 8, which is part of the Eurovelo long distance cycling routes that crisscross Europe. You could follow it all the way along the coast until Spain. Je regarde l'autre côté de la rue. Mon regard est accroché par deux femmes qui discutent sous la pluie. Et je dois être excité. Oui, mais il faut le dissimuler. Je dois attendre qu'elles se séparent. We arrived to Lyon, started to unpack the bikes and realized that the DR derailleur of one of the bikes was completely smashed, out of place. So we had to rush to try to find a bike shop in Lyon. We found one that was owned by two brothers. Trying to get the bike to work, to rescue it in a French bike shop. We tried to fix it as good as we could and tried to rush to get to the hotel, which we booked on the same day, 120 kilometers away. of the morning, rear tire flat. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, after yesterday mechanical issue. Again another mechanical issue this morning. Let's see. Luckily we found a bike shop in another village and the magic happened. My new continental tire! <laughs> 28 millimeters from a French shop. How lucky, huh? I was really happy about <laughs> having this amazing tire mounted to my bike. Coffee break here in France. Yeah, we bumped into this bridge that it was impossible to cycle. <laughs> That's a funny bridge. Huh?
well, supermarket break here in Orange. Uh, we are close to Avignon. So what we bought, of course, some Haribo. Front tire flat again, another flat. So pumping. Uh, this time was uh, one of the tires that had an inner tube. So we managed to fix it with a patch. And we continue to our next hotel in Avignon. They had an amazing wine. Early morning start, 7.18, ready to roll, day three. The sunrise. This is something like a magical moment in France. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, I bakery stop. I absolutely love French croissants. I mean, no matter where I went, they were really good. Bonjour, le petit déjeuner. Pain de chocolat et croissant. the atmosphere la cucaracha ya no puede caminar so when you follow the Via Rona you have different bike signs on the cycle lane on the road so it's easy to follow I found that quite useful sometimes the route will tell me to turn somewhere but then you have the sign which was actually correct so I would recommend if you're doing Via Rona or the Mediterranean route try to stick uh, to the signs on the road the hotel and there were a lot of mosquitoes we were unpacking the bikes and uh, I got like pricked by 10 mosquitoes dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it was quite difficult to sleep that night Intermarché. After being in the middle of nowhere, we are now close to Perpignan. Mm -hmm. 